Hey guys, Krista here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to size images in both Photoshop and Blogstop. So we're gonna start with Photoshop. In Photoshop, you're going to want to open up your image, and then we're gonna just gonna to go to File and Export, and I'm gonna use File Save for Web. So in Save for Web, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. It gives you the option to change the image size for the purposes of this example, I'm gonna make it a thousand pixels wide, but depending on how big your image is displayed on your site, you might need to size it differently. So a thousand pixels wide is actually a really good size for our blog, but if you aren't sure what size to make your images, you could come over to your website, and if you're on a Mac, you can do Command Shift 4, which is gonna give you this little crosshair, take a screenshot um, icon, and we're not actually gonna take a screenshot, but if you click and then hold and drag, you can drag to see the width of an image. You can actually size anything on a website, um, but you can see that my image width is about 655 pixels wide. And if you hit escape, it won't actually take the screenshot. And then if you multiply 655 by 1.5, which is about the ratio to get an image to look good on both retina and desktop, it comes out to about a thousand pixels wide. So that's why I chose a thousand, but it might be different for your site. So after we've sized the image, we're gonna play with the quality a little bit and see if we can get the, the size of the image down because right now this is a really big file and it would, pre, it would slow our site down pretty significantly. Um, so the standard for sizing an image, if you're like a photographer or if you're someone who it's important to have beautiful images on your site, I probably wouldn't go past like 85 on the image. Um, but with this image, the way it's looking right now, I think that I could get away with going lower. It's one of those things that you just have to play with. And so keep an eye on this size down here. And so like right now, it's showing you how fast it's gonna load, which is 35 seconds, which that might be different depending on your internet speed or where it's going. But I think that I can get away with having it go even lower and not having it affect the quality. Um, so it's just kind of a trade off. Like how low of a resolution can you go while still keeping it fast? Right now, I think this image looks okay, so I would just save it, and we'll save it right to my desktop, um, and then it would be good to go. I'm also gonna show you how to use Blogstomp. Blogstomp is a great piece of software if you don't have Photoshop, or if you really only need to size your images for blog posts. So what you do is you select a few images, and so I'm gonna grab those, and I'm gonna pull them in, and you can pull in as many photos as you want. And you would select one photo or you could select two photos at once. Um, like if we wanted to select these two together and then you can come in and there's a few different built in styles or you can create your own styles. If you're going to create your own, you want to set the image width. So this one I have it set to be 1100 pixels wide. And I didn't want a border. I didn't want any backgrounds. I do want a five pixel margin in between the two images. And then I'm gonna come over to output. So I would, I recommend putting your output quality at about 85, like Blogstomp recommends. I think anything lower than that, and if, if photos and the quality of a photo is important to you, you start to notice the effect of that lower output. Um, I also sharpen the images for the um, web. Those are pretty good settings to use throughout if you're gonna use Blogstomp. And so then I'm gonna hit okay. And then from here, I have my two images together, and then I can hit just to stomp it, and it goes into a folder. And then same if I just wanted to export one by itself, it's gonna use it the same settings, it just won't have that margin because it's only one photo, and it's gonna stomp it. And then if I come in here, I can look at these images, and they are sized to be 1129 pixels wide, and they're not as big as they were before. So, Two ways to size your images for the web.